A public apology from the Archdiocese of Chicago. This, as thousands of documents detailing sexual abuse claims against Illinois priests are released. Some of the cases dating as far back as a half century, including the case filed by one man who now lives in Springfield. News Channel at 9's Kimberly Howard brings us his story. My, my abuse case was 40 years ago. But his emotions still raw. Joe Iacono was just 11 years old when he says his priest sexually abused him. He never told anyone until decades later. You didn't question what they did. So as a young child, um, even though I knew it was wrong, I was, I suppressed it. I didn't want to come forward. I was embarrassed. I was ashamed. Um, you feel as though someone may say it was your fault. After having children of his own, he now feels differently. And while he's happy, the Archdiocese of Chicago is accepting responsibility. He says something should have happened sooner. And although they're coming forward today with some policies and procedures that I believe are very helpful and they're doing many of the right things. At the time that this abuse took place, no one will ever convince me that they didn't know that he was an abusing priest because they moved him in the middle of the night to another parish. And he did it, they did it seven times. The specifics of Iacono's case are detailed in some of the thousands of documents being handed over by the Archdiocese to victims' attorneys. It's all part of a settlement. I want to assure the public that no priest with even one substantiated accusation of child abuse against him serves in public ministry in the archdiocese. The documents detail claims against 30 different priests. 14 of the priests are dead. All but two are no longer priests. None is in active ministry and all of the allegations have been reported to authorities years ago. The diocese says 95% of the cases allegedly happened before 1988. None happened after 1996. If they would have done what they're doing today, they would have saved many children from the abuse of these priests. In Springfield, Kimberly Howard for News Channel at 9 on Fox, Illinois. Well, the bishop acknowledged the mistakes made by the archdiocese in decades past, but denied any attempted cover-ups. The archdiocese has already paid out millions of dollars to settle abuse claims.